Hi guys, welcome back to How To Tuesdays. Today we have blush, bronzer, highlight, application techniques and um, the products that I use and how I put them on. Um, it's a bit of a quicker video. Um, I don't go way too in depth because there isn't that much to tell um, about the blush, bronzer, contour, highlight and all that stuff. Um, I do use cream and powder. Um, products so you see both of them on the skin and layered together how it looks it's much more long-lasting and I prefer it because I use a little bit of both and I get this effect right here so yeah without um, further ado and I don't want to ramble on and on and on um, let's just go ahead and get started all right so I've done my face um, the just the base foundation concealer I've done of cream a bit of cream bronzer um, but um, I think you've already seen me do that if I'm not mistaken. I'm just gonna show you um, what I use for blush like liquid blush cream blush to make everything stand and stay on my skin a lot longer and that's how I don't pile on the powder blush and it stays on my skin for a long time. I blend it with um, a stippling brush a dual fiber stippling brush and I just blend it towards the bronzer back there and whatever is left I just put it on the rest of my face now I go in with cream highlight and um, this is also by Nip and Fab and I just apply a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones and then blend it out with my finger I blend it out with my finger just to give myself that base, that glow, and the highlight pops a lot more. Now the reason you want to play on the tops of your cheekbones and not any lower is because you don't want your face to look oily and I didn't apply way too much blush on because then otherwise I'd look like a clown. So that's kind of like my go-to. There isn't that much science really to this um after i've blended it with my finger you can see the sheen there i just go in with the clean side this bit of the sponge and i just tap it just to make sure there are no like streaks or weird marks around and that's it and now i set my face and i wanted to show you this before i went into like the whole powder contour bronzer thing um my face so the first thing that i'm gonna do and I want to make sure I have my under eyes completely blended because I tend to crease down there. And then with my Real Techniques setting brush and my RCMA translucent powder, I'm sorry. I'm just going to set my under eyes first. And then I set from the bottom of my face upwards so I don't remove the glow. If I put the powder on here first, as a rule of thumb, like I said, um, you are going to get most powder there. So I put it, I put the most at the bottom because I want this place to be matte and over here to be glowy. Grab a little bit more and then I go in with my forehead and then drag it down the edges. I'm going to use um, the Give Me Some Sun Makeup Obsession palette right here. I'm going to use for contour the shade Buff. Now I showed you how I contoured before but I'm just going to do it once more so you see how it blends with the bronzer. And I'm going to apply it right under my cheekbones. I can't drag it too low. I have to place my brush like this. Otherwise if I do in any other angle it's not going to be right. Um, because we will drag the product all the way down and that's not what we're trying to do with the contour so just as a recap applying it like that I'm sorry my hair is in mess it's just I'm not having a good hair day today and now I'm going to bronze now using the shade Rays I'm going to grab a flat powder brush and I'm going to set the cream contour I've already set it with powder but I'm just going to give it a little bit more color so it stays longer and I'm going to apply the first few bits around my face just a little bit I'm barely tapping onto it okay. 
And now for my neck to bond the contour with bronzer. Next, I'm going in with blush, and I'm using the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush Fun Color Blush Palette. Um, for that, I'm going to be using a tapered blush brush, um, which is what I use for blush. This is by Artisa. I actually got this brush in Australia, so if you can get something similar to this, this would really help. But if not, use what you can and try to do the same technique, even though you don't have the same brush. It might be a little bit difficult, but that's what I'm advising anyway. Um, and I'm just going to grab the last three shades on the palette of this side. Just dabbing in some, and then just slightly going on top of it because I already have the cream blush under, and I don't want to look super super pink. I just want to set the, the cream blush from under. Put it on the forehead to mash everything together. And now, last but definitely not least, I'm going to go in with the highlight. Now, um, obviously, like I said, there are different techniques of doing everything. This is the way I like to apply my blush. And how I do it is just basically look at the apples of my cheeks and then drag it onto the blush so it all blends nicely. Um, there are so many techniques to apply blush. Some people do it by, like, layers. Some people do it, like, um, some circles. It just it depends on what you like. I feel like this is the most blended, natural, seamless kind of look. Um, but now moving on to highlight, I use the Becca Champagne Pop. Um, well, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop, and then this is the Mary Luminizer. I go in with Champagne Pop first, and I use the Morphe M510 brush for this. I just swirl it around a bit, and then what I do is I grab it from this angle as usual, and then I just kind of hit the high points of my face in slightly circular motions, and then hit the forehead on top, on the side, do the same again. Into your wipe motions and then circular to like blend it properly. And this is the very highs of my like cheekbones. I like to apply it there and then blend it slightly downwards. As you see, when I'm doing the circular motions, it blends slightly downwards. So <clears throat> that's what I do. And then I go in with the Mary Luminizer and I just hit the very very high points of me cheekbones so right here and I don't do the same motions I just go windshield wiper and I'm almost like do you see how I'm doing it I was doing the highlight like this before the very highs of my cheekbones I switch and I do this why because that's going to get a more precise point of where I want to hit that very shade and that's more or less what I want to do whatever with whatever's left I'm just going to kind of like do circular motions and blend it around. Now for my nose, I'm going to use a very, very tiny um, flat shader brush. It's very thin, very tiny. I'm going to grab Champagne Pop again, and I'm going to use this and put this on the bridge of my nose and then blend it with my ring finger very gently. Then grab some more again and then put some on the very, very, very tip of my nose, like so. And then go in with Mary Luminizer and do the exact same thing. Except I'm not gonna do as big of lines. I'm just gonna stick closer to one spot. So I, like I said, it just it hits one spot specifically. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is basically how I do my blush, bronzer, contour, and highlight all together, and how it all creates the dimension on the face. So yeah, this is how you get more dimension on your face, not just the foundation layer. And um, I do both of the techniques, both powder, cream, under, so you get more longevity with your makeup. Now, um, it sounded really funny saying that, but the reason I'm showing you both of them is because you could do either or. You could do cream for a more natural and glowy look, but it's definitely going to come off in two seconds because it's a cream product. And with powder, you can look very powdery and it cannot last as long and it's not as intense. But when you mix both of them together and use a little bit and a little bit, um, you can get this kind of like dimensional um, canvas and it will be very long lasting. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll come back and say goodbye and you know the whole jazz, you know, all that jazz. Um, so yeah, let me just do the rest of my makeup so I don't bore you and I don't keep you here for ages because I tend to do that with these videos. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished my makeup. Um, I did my like everyday natural type of makeup. 
I really don't feel like putting lashes on today because I'm very, very tired. So, um, this is the finished look. I really hope you like this video. Um, it is a bit of a quick one because I don't go way too in depth of how to do absolutely everything. I thought I'd speed it up a little bit for you guys. Um, but if you do have any questions and you do feel like I could be more elaborate into the technique or the application or the products that I'm using, then please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm really close to 200 subscribers, so I'd really, really, really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!